Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today uh, I want to do a reading for you about messages from your ancestors. I have I had a strong calling today to make such reading. So I'm doing it for you. Certain messages, certain information coming from your ancestors. What do you want to tell you today? Of course, if you feel it resonates with you. So today we're going to have three piles. Pile one will be this orange candle. Pile two will be this green candle. And pile three will be this white candle. Take your time. And we will start with pile one. Hello, pile one, whoever chose this candle. Let's see <clears throat> what your ancestors want to tell you today. What kind of information you need to hear. I hear right away. Um, I'm just gonna channel whatever I say it's coming from uh, your ancestors, okay? So they wanna tell you the way you live is wrong. You're not living your own life. You're trying to fix something that shouldn't be fixed. You're trying to prove something that shouldn't be proved. You're circling in one uh, place. You're not moving forward. Why? Because you're afraid. You're afraid to lose something that actually doesn't belong to you or shouldn't be in your life. You're trying to uh, protect, you're trying to get back, you're trying to uh, put things to normal again, things that shouldn't be here in your life. Your life needs a change. And this change might not, might not be pretty, this change will be difficult. This road that you're about to take or already took is not easy. But it doesn't mean you're on the wrong path. We are here to protect you. We are here to support you. Yes, you might think that you don't deserve this. You uh, shouldn't be here or things shouldn't went the way they, they did. But... you are actually the one who can deal with it. Take it as a family karma. Yes, maybe you need to go through certain things that other members of your um, family couldn't do. Something they didn't have enough strength for. And you are the one that we're choosing to help us and go through it. Through you, we are healing our family. It might sound harsh. You might think, why you? Why not someone else? But because you're very special. And as soon as you realize how special you are, your struggles um, will not be as difficult anymore. It doesn't mean you have to struggle your whole life. But right now, it's important to understand whatever's going away from you, let it go. Whatever you need to fight for, then it's not yours in the first place. Things shouldn't be hard to get happiness. Happiness is coming with ease. 
but if you try to prove something if you try to um, manifest someone who doesn't even belong to you if you're trying to <clears throat> get back person that's not willing to be with you or if you're trying to stay at work that doesn't fulfill you anymore it could be anything you know what it is if you're trying too hard that this is not your road And the new road that we offer you, yes, it's not easy. But it's the road where you made certain decision and moving forward. You're not circling in the same place again and all over again. Because if you're still watching it right now, that means you are circling in, in uh, the same place. You not um, you seem like st stuck somewhere. You stuck and you don't know how to get out. But as soon as you understand where is the key to all of that, you'll see how easy it is just to make a decision. Yes, you might think that you are trapped and you like um, this sleeping uh, human being uh, like a Snow White that cannot wake up. But you can wake yourself up. You don't need anyone to wake you up. You will be awake as soon as you will realize what's right to do. As soon as you realize what your soul asking you to do. Not your body not your ego, not your uh, family members, not your loved ones, not your strangers, nobody but you. You need to be the one to push yourself out of the cycle, which is not going anywhere. And you know how to do it. Here it is, having two sides, two opinions, difficulty to make a decision, you don't know which way to go, but whatever choice you will make, whatever path you will take will be the right one, if you choose with your heart. But if you choose again, with your mind only, you'll be back to the same problem later on. You might be resolving something here and now, but in the long term, you'll get to the same trouble because you didn't choose with your soul. And every time you'll be back to that problem, it will be harder and harder for you to accomplish it. But you know exactly what to do. 
you learn your lesson. You know what's good for you. You are very intuitive. You know the signs that come in your way from us, your ancestors. You know what we're trying to tell you every time. We know you're afraid. But we also know that you are very strong. And every time such situation appears your way, difficult situation, it only makes you stronger. Wow, thank you guys. That was the message from your ancestors. Very strong uh, message, but if it resonated with you or you felt something within that you needed to hear it, that's very good. Let me know in comments. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile number two, whoever chose this green candle. Today, I'm going to give you messages from your ancestors. What they're trying to tell you. Certain messages you need to hear. I'm just gonna channel from them, okay? And you listen. You did the right thing. When you closed off from certain individuals or person when you left certain situation behind when you uh, stopped sharing your thoughts your emotions with others when you uh, distanced yourself from someone or some people you did the right thing if you're thinking right now, what if you made a mistake? What if uh, you didn't leave them behind or didn't leave your past behind? How things would go if you didn't? Sometimes you're asking yourself, what if you didn't do what you done? Would things be better? No. You did exactly what you needed to do. You made the right decision. You actually not even aware how how much misery you um, avoid. You thinking right now you struggle right now. It's not everything's perfect. Imagine if you didn't do what you done. It could have been so much worse. But you felt it, you realized it, and you left. You could have just left for one day, just to stay away from certain gossip. Maybe stay away from person didn't make you happy. <laughs> Maybe you left someone behind maybe you left your family maybe you got a divorce maybe you left your job maybe in certain situation you didn't react at all or ignored something and you thinking right now second um you doubting yourself 
don't. You did the right thing. Out of those two choices that you had, you chose the right one. You chose to stay away. So don't blame yourself. The situation itself was very toxic. Toxic for your energy, for your well-being, for your health, for your mental health. And now, it's time to grow. It's time to move forward. It's time to uh, stop doubting your decision, your actions, and move forward. Most people didn't get you. Most people don't understand you. You are very different. You... You're not like any everybody else, but that's what makes you unique. At the same time, we don't want you to uh, be too much in, in within yourself. We don't want you to overthink, be in a hermit mode. We want you to continue life you shouldn't stop here and now because of what happened before you should continue going some people would probably be uh, depressed stressed for a long time not you not you you are different you need to move forward you don't have time for that. You are stronger than that. You are not meant to be miserable. When you will understand it, you see how things will change. You just don't have time for that. You have greater things to accomplish, bigger things. It could be your career, family, friends, kids, parents, health, whatever it is, whatever you need to accomplish here in the future, whatever your goals are, go for it. You can achieve many things, more than you can even imagine. If you imagine 10% of your happiness and you're thinking it's a hundred, it's only 10 because you can do much more, nine times, 10 times more. But if you'll be sitting and thinking, you're not gonna go anywhere. We need you to pick up yourself and continue going. Continue with your life like nothing happened. Yes, you might say, what do you mean? I've been through so much. I'm struggling, I'm crying. I don't wanna get up. But this is not the case. You have to. You can. It's your body. And nobody can tell you what to do. You control your body. You control your mind. And you can control your emotions. At the moment, strength is your best friend. 
There is no time for weakness right now. You'll be weak later on. When things are done. When you move forward. You can have time for yourself. To feel sorry for about yourself. For a little bit, a day or two. But that's enough. We need you to be uplifted. We need you to be positive. We are helping you. You might get certain signs through dreams. If you cannot sleep well, try to do something about it, like maybe take certain pills, medicine, maybe go for a walk before night. Do something that will give you a good sleep because you need it. Because during the day, we need you very awake, very active, very positive, energetic. You're losing your energy for nothing. You're losing your energy um, you drain yourself and how you do it through your mind when you overthink when you think negative all of that drains your energy and right now we need you to stay very energetic not sleepy sleeping only at night time Take life as a game. Where there are two ways. Either you win or you lose. And you are very good at winning. Not everyone will be happy about it. But who cares? Thank you very much guys that was your message today both piles first and second are very strong uh, it's not easy for me but i'm trying my best to give you the the most important messages today let me know in comments and i'm going for pile number three Hello, pile number three, whoever chose this white candle. Let's see. What your ancestors want to tell you today. Your ancestors have a message for you. I'm just don't, gonna talk for them and you listen. Hmm. Are you upset with the situation? Are you angry? Are you angry at yourself, at people around you? Mm, they disappoint you. People around you disappoint you. Life disappoints you. But let, let us remind you that this is life, you're not in heaven. And life is not easy. And in this life, you need to be a fighter. We see that you feel that things are not fair. 
things disappoint you. Uh, people. People do certain things that hurt others. There are wars around you. Around this world. People go to war. People don't care about one another. This world is not perfect. But this is not your problem to fix. Your problem to fix is your own life. And even if everyone around you are no good, it doesn't mean it should affect you your life, your soul, your attitude, your mood. It shouldn't affect your mood. Maybe you just had a bad day, a bad month, bad year, <laughs> could be. But it shouldn't change who you are because you are very bright person you are a child of God and you are here out of many but very unique so don't Put yourself in a, with everyone else. If things go crazy around you, pray. Pray. But don't change. Don't become bitter. Don't become angry. At least not for long. You are a child of God. The universe protects you. We are protecting you, your ancestors. We are protecting you from many different situations that you don't even know. You still breathe because you are protected. So say your gratitude and pray for you, for your family members, for people that you love, for Earth, for this planet, for the universe. But it doesn't mean that you can change the world. You can change the world different way by staying who you are, beautiful soul. That cares, that knows how to love, how to receive love. knows how to be responsible, knows how to care. Protect your soul from this misery that's going on around you. And you'll, you'll find your happiness eventually. Whatever's bothering you is temporary. Because you will end up happy, fulfilled, content. You will find your other half if you were looking for one. You will find your person if you were looking. You will find a new job or a better job if you were looking. Your health will get better. But you need to trust 
that even though things are going wrong around you, it shouldn't destroy you within. It wouldn't um, it wouldn't break your plans, your fate, your future. You are truly protected. And we don't want you to, to change. We want your soul to be poor, pure. Sorry. And happy. Regardless of what's going on around you. And things are going on. People lie, people betray, people care less, people disappoint. And no one's perfect. But your soul is. Maybe not your body. And sometimes maybe you hurt others. Maybe you do something that make others worry, stressed, be disappointed. And you don't even know, not aware of it. Just because you cannot control everything. The only thing you can control is being who you are, being yourself being true to yourself. Soon the situation that you're in will be over. Soon you will be able to come out and go to a next level of your life, a better one. Soon you'll get what you want, but we want you, your soul to stay healthy, pure, beautiful as it is. No, don't, don't let other people or situations to change you. Wow, interesting message, guys, pile number three. Thank you very much. Let me know if it resonated with you in some way. I love you all, and I'll see you in my other video. Bye-bye.